Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to be learning about possessive adjectives. All right, so just a quick review of subject and object pronouns. So, I am old, you are Spanish, he is tall, she is intelligent, it has a garden, we have a lesson, you like pizza, they know Peter. These are all examples of subject pronouns. And then object pronouns. Alex knows me. Alex knows you. Alex knows him. Alex knows her. Alex knows it. Alex knows us. Alex knows you. This is the plural you, really meaning Alex knows all of you. Or here in the subject, all of you, like pizza. And then Alex knows them. So subject and object pronouns that we covered in the previous two videos. All right, so now we're going to talk about possessive adjectives. And these are used to show when an object or a person, something belongs to another person. So the possessive adjective form of I is my. So I like my book. So the book that belongs to me is my book. Your is the possessive form of you. You like your friends. Possessive form of he is his. He likes his teacher. Possessive form of she is her. She likes her house. Possessive form of it is its with no apostrophe. Um, now there is another form of its which we have studied before. It's it apostrophe s which is the contraction for it is. But when you want to use its as a possessive you don't use the apostrophe. So its babies are very cute. Possessive form of we is our we like our vacation. And here this is the plural you. Uh, so your, uh, you like your, t your new TV. So all of you like your new TV. And the possessive form of they is their. They like their presence. All right, so adjectives can describe nouns or pronouns. So, my car is new. So, car is the noun. And my is a, is a possessive adjective describing the car. It's not your car. It's not his car. It's my car. Same thing here. Her motorcycle is black. So, motorcycle is the noun. And her is the adjective describing the motorcycle. Black is also an adjective describing the motorcycle, and is is the verb. So you could not say, she motorcycle is black. So here are some examples. I am John. This is my house. This is your house. This is Jane's house. So this is her house. This is Ben's house. This is his house. This is Albert and Vicky's house. This is their house. This is the bird's cage. This is its cage. All right, so for this exercise, you're going to complete each sentence with my or your. So the example, this is my book, that is your book. So go ahead and try these on your own, and then uh, you can restart the video to check your answers. All right, it's time for lunch. I'm going to wash my hands before eating. You need to wash your hands. I am doing my homework. You are doing your homework. 
Again, try these on your own. Restart when you're ready to check your answers. So I am washing my hair. You are washing your hair. I am brushing my teeth. You are brushing your teeth. I ride my bike to school. You ride your bike to school. All right, so now you can talk about yourself uh, using the word my. So go ahead and try these on your own. You can fill them in with your information, uh, whatever's true for you. I'll fill them in with mine. So my full name is Robin Landry. My mother's name is Carcelia. My father's name is Robert. My favorite food is uh, lobster. My favorite movie is Gosh, that's a hard one. My favorite movie is um, The Secret Life of Bees. And my best friend's name is Karen. Okay, so you can fill this in with whatever is true for you. All right, now we're going to talk about his and her. So this is Todd. He is a nurse, so he is a subject pronoun. This is his wife and children, so the wife and the children belong to Todd. And this is his car, so the car belongs to Todd. This is Olivia. She is an engineer. This is her husband and children. And this is her car. All right, so now you're going to complete these sentences with either his or her. So this is Omar. Omar is a chef. He likes, so because Omar is a man, we have to use his, his job. So the job of being a chef belongs to Omar. This is his wife. So this wife belongs to Omar. And Omar likes to drive, and this is his car. So the car belongs to Omar. Okay, again, use his or her. This is Rita. This is her house. These are her children. She likes to ride horses. Her horse is called Sheba. This is Tessa. She wakes up at 7 a.m. She brushes her teeth. She washes her hair. She puts on her clothes. She drives her car to work. This is Corey. He wakes up at 9 a.m. He brushes his teeth. He washes his hair. He puts on his clothes. He rides his bike to work. All right, now you're going to use either my, his, or her in the sentence, in the sentences. So this is an example. I am Belinda. This is Judy and Alistair. They are my friends. So for me, my bike is blue. So what would you say about your house? My house is small. This is Judy. Her bike is green. 
Her house is bigger. And this is Alistair. His bike is yellow. His house is very large. All right, so now use my, his, and her um, to make sentences. You can pause the video and try these on your own and then restart when you're ready to continue. Okay, so here we have the dogs. And again, you might have different answers. These are just some examples. So, my dog is small. Her dog is big. His dog is fluffy. And then we have cars. My car is blue. Her car is green. His car is red. Okay, now use his or her to fill in the gaps. James has a car. This is James. The car is red. So you could say, his car is red. Tina has a cat. The cat is old. Her cat is old. Jay has two children. They are called Jillian and Scott. Uh, his children are called Jillian and Scott. Catherine has a friend. The friend lives in Paris. Her friend lives in Paris. Now you have to pick the correct pronoun. Thomas has a red car. His car is red. I have a house in London. My house is in London. Sam has a dog called George. His dog is called George. I have an uncle who works in Spain. My uncle works in Spain. Jenny has a teacher called Peter. Her teacher is called Peter. All right, now we're going to look at our and their. So he says, this is my wife and me. We are both doctors. So this house belongs to both of them. So it would be, this is our house. Here, the car belongs to the two of them, so they say, this is our car. So when something belongs to you and another person, you use our. And then there, this is Leanne and Mark. They are farmers. These are their children, so the children belong to the two of them. And that is their truck. So the truck belongs to both of them. Okay, so now we're going to use our or their. This is Sammy and me. This is our house. This is our dog. This is our car. This is Reuben and Selena. This is their house. This is 
their cat. This is their car. This is Morgan and me. We wake up at 6.30 a.m. We eat breakfast. We brush our teeth. We leave our house. We drive our car to work. And they use our because he's including himself. Um, so when you include yourself, it's our. When you don't include yourself, it's there. This is Hamish and Joanna. They wake up at 7 a.m. They eat breakfast. They brush their teeth. They put on their clothes. They ride their bikes to work. All right, so David and me, our children are young. What could be a sentence you could make about their house? You might say something like, our house is in the country. And how about their truck? Our truck is old. Okay, and this is Aaron and Nina. Their children are teenagers. So if you want to make a sentence about their house, their house is, oops, is in the city. Their car is very small. All right, again, now you're going to fill in the gaps with either our or their. You can pause the video, try this on your own, and then restart when you're ready to continue. Peter and I are going to a concert next week. Our tickets cost $50 each. And we use our because I, the person speaking, is including themselves. So then it has to be I. Jeff and Margaret have a dog, but their cat died last year. This one would be our TV is old. We should buy it a new TV. So remember that our is the possessive form of we. They are happy because they sold their house for a lot of money. We are really excited. Our vacation starts next week. Leo and Angela are sending their children to school in the USA. Edward and I saw our grandchildren last week. William and I are changing our diet because we need to lose weight. Okay, so this is me, this is you, this is not my truck, this is your truck. Okay, so we want to use my or your below. So Lauren, it's cold outside, put on your jacket. So then Lauren would say, where is my jacket? I can't find it. Lauren, you need to put your hat on too. Mom, I am wearing my hat. Did you brush your teeth? Yes, of course I brushed my teeth. Okay, do you have your violin? Yes, I have my violin. Quick, or I'll be late for my lesson. 
Okay, so we're going to look at some examples. So London is a magnificent city. It has beautiful parks. Its parks are beautiful. The dog has three puppies. The puppies are very cute. Its puppies are very cute. So again, be careful with its ITS and its IT apostrophe S. So as we said before, its IT apostrophe S means it is. Look at that bird. It is, it's building a nest, meaning it is building a nest. Here, look at that bird. Its nest is beautiful. So this one means that the nest belongs to the bird. This is showing that the bird is doing something. The bird is building the nest. All right, so here's a summary. For the subject pronoun I, the, the possessive adjective is my. I like my book. The subject is you. The possessive adjective is your. You like your friends. For the subject pronoun he, the possessive adjective is his. He likes his teacher. For the subject pronoun she, the possessive adjective is her. She likes her house. For the subject it, the possessive adjective is its. Its babies are very cute. For the subject we, the possessive adjective form is our. We like our holiday. This is the plural form, meaning all of you, or all of your, all of you, like your new TV. For the subject they, the possessive adjective is their, they like their presence. All right, so now you're going to use his, her, and its to fill in the gaps. So pause the video, try those on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, Hollywood is famous because of its movies, referring to Hollywood. Tanya and her sisters are coming to the party next week. I love London and I especially love its museums and galleries. So the museums and galleries belong to London. Jack has two brothers. His younger brother is 12, and his older brother is 16. This cat made a small bed for its kitten on the doorstep. Allison is not speaking to her father. They had a fight. Anne is not home. She went to the cinema with her friends. I like Sydney very much because its streets are clean. Hey Peter, can I please borrow your car tonight? My car is broken. Right. Here are a few more exercises. Again, pause the video, try them on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Derek, uh, Derek and I are going to sell our house. We want to buy a new house. I really like Ethan and Liz, but I don't like their children. Look at that cute puppy. Its ears are so big. Hey Toby, do you want my ticket for the baseball game? I cannot go. Robin, please brush your teeth before you go to bed. I want to call Sarah. Do you have her telephone number? Paul and I decided to get married. Our wedding is in six months. Oh, I can't find my car keys. I'm always losing them. All right, so now you're going to use a noun to complete the sentence. So here, I really don't like my teacher. He is not a nice person. 
Okay, go ahead and try those on your own and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, number 48, we should sell our house and move to a smaller apartment. Please put on your hat and scarf before you go outside. Paris is wonderful and its restaurants are excellent. I think Christopher and Megan should tidy their garden. Do you know that guy? Well, yes, but I cannot remember his name. My poor dog, its tail got stuck in the door. Jeremy, is this your jacket? No. I have a brown coat. All right, that brings us to the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave those for me in the comments. Also like, subscribe, and share, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.